Hey everybody, welcome. It's such a beautiful day and I'm glad y'all are here. I hope you're feeling safe, loved, and blessed. I'm Asha Nicole, aka The Dope Lady, and I'm here with another positive energy message for you. But if it doesn't resonate, don't force it, okay? If the shoe doesn't fit, don't put it on. I have plenty of other messages and readings out there for y'all, okay, that you can go check out on YouTube, okay, and here as well. But anyway, let's get into this, okay? This is just going to be a general message for anyone who's looking for clarity, confirmation, insight, or just entertainment, okay? Um, I usually start off with Life is Like a Song, but instead I'm going to start off with the African Goddess Rising deck, okay? And then we'll go from there. So let's start with African Goddess Rising. This is going to be for all my positive energy viewers, all my dope runners. We ask that you, Holy Spirit, come in and have your way. What is the message for us today? All right, we have level up and divine lineage. So we have number six and number 39. Hmm. Some of you could be born in June. Some of you are from Louisiana and you moved. Uh, you had to relocate um, during hurricane season, during um, Hurricane Katrina. That's for some of you, not everyone. But I feel like you guys are on the level up here. Some of you are approaching 40. You are approaching your 40s. We got the number 39 here. Um, I feel like you guys are seeing things from a different perspective here with the level up. And because of that, you're, you're going through some kind of um, ascension, okay? Some kind of awakening. I feel like you guys are getting help, too, from your divine lineage here i feel like there's some passed over loved ones some ancestors and um spiritual guys that are helping you with this level up here in your life whatever it is you're going up the, i don't know if you can see the arrows but the arrows are pointing up okay in this machete okay let's keep going here At the bottom, we have masks. You could be seeing hummingbirds. Something about lavender is significant. Maybe um, get you some lavender essential oil to help you uh, rest at night. Something here is is uh, coming to completion for you. You are definitely going to another level of something, okay? You're leveling up on something here. Let's get some Angels of Abundance. This is an Angels of Abundance message for my dope runners. What do we need to know? I've, I've been hearing uh, that Pussycat Dog song, Stick With You. We have Take a Divinely Got a Chance. So there's something that you need to take a chance on that the divine is guiding you towards. I told y'all, I feel like you're getting some kind of help to level up here from your ancestors here. So... From your divine lineage, you're getting, you're getting some kind of divinely guided uh, push here to go towards something. It says all positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk. So you're going to have to take some kind of risk here. You're going to have to take a chance. And you are ready to follow your divine guidance to new territory. Some of y'all going somewhere. As you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar but no longer appropriate for you, you make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. So yeah, you guys are cutting out some bad habits, some old ways of thinking some old ways of doing just you guys are, are leveling up okay in every aspect of that look at the bottom we have gratitude list so as you go to this next level be sure to have a gratitude list and be thankful for all the things that you have okay all the things that you have experienced as well that brings you forward into this new level more knowledgeable more strengthened okay more brave let's see what else it's going on with my viewers. Let's get some Life is Like a Song. This is for my positive energy viewers. Oh, that one want to come out. Whatever this is. When I see you. So some somebody gets nervous when they see you. You're always on their mind. Whoever this person is, they get shy when they see you. Uh-oh. We got 911. Uh-oh. Somebody's dealing with some kind of toxic situation here. That, that song was toxic. That was a toxic love. Let's see. One more. 
for my positive energy viewers. And that's what you could be leaving behind. Some kind of toxic relationship, toxic ways, toxic something. Yep. We got foolish by Ashanti. So you could have been in some kind of karmic relationship where you just kept repeating the cycles with this person. Y'all kept going back to each other. Y'all kept fighting. You kept cheating. They kept cheating. He was lying. You was lying. Whatever the, whatever it was, whatever the dynamic was, you kept accepting it. You kept going back. Okay. When I get the strength to leave, you always tell me that you need. So you might have been trying to leave and they like, no, I need you. Do, 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 do. Not knowing behind that, you got somebody that's going to love you good. It says, love me like you do. What are you waiting for? This is about Ellie Goulding. Um, somebody wants to take you to higher heights. I'm telling you, every time I see this card right here, to love me like you do, I think of that scene from Fifty Shades of Grey when Christian Grey took Anastasia on this helicopter ride through Seattle or to Seattle or something like that. And it was a pivotal moment um, in their in their relationship. Okay, first of all, she had never been on a helicopter, I don't believe, uh, let alone been in his personal helicopter that he's flying okay so somebody here wants to take you to higher heights and i feel like you're being guided i feel like god is taking you to higher heights god is taking you to a new level okay you're gonna be up here all right you're gonna be able to look and see the things from a different perspective like i said in the beginning here okay let's see what else for my viewers what's going on with my viewers today what's the message What is the message today? Okay, we got a pleasant letter. So you could be receiving some kind of communication. The number seven here also, uh, that's, you know, that's God's perfect number. Um, the, the world was created in seven days. Um, on the seventh day, God rested. Hmm. So maybe you guys are going to get some kind of communication, okay? It says pleasant. So something pleasant is pleasing, so it's going to be pleasing to you, pleasing to your eyes, pleasing to your mind, pleasing to your ears, okay? So you're going to receive some form of communication here, okay? Um, we'll see here. This could be about you moving forward. This could be about the news that you need to uh, move forward here. Let's see. What else is going on with my viewers? What do we need to know? All right, we have a gift. We have a gift. Okay, so you could be receiving the news about a gift. When I was uh, going over this pleasant letter card, I was saying something about a new car. So maybe you're getting approved. Some of you are getting approved for a new car. What do we have here? Oh, look, big luck. So we have the number seven and 17, and then we have number 26. Okay, so you could be seeing 717, angel number 717. That's a new start. You're going somewhere, somewhere new. Hmm. This is good. You're going to get some good news here, okay? I told y'all, you guys are leveling up here. There's some kind of karmic abundance coming in for you. Hmm. Let's see. Let's get some metaphysical oracle. What do we need to know? What is most important for our dope runners to know at this time? I haven't used this deck in a while. Oh, we got crystal technology, silicone. I feel like there's something here that you're giving birth to, you guys. Some of you could be pregnant, okay? You could be pregnant or wanting to um, conceive, okay? That's something that you guys could be wishing and praying for. I feel like the, it's in your hands, okay? There, or maybe you guys are loving and nurturing on a baby or something, okay? But... This is here, okay? There's something that you guys are wanting to give birth to, whether it's a new idea or something new here, okay? I feel like you're you're molding something. Maybe you guys are, I don't know, some of you could be teachers, elementary teachers or daycare workers or something like that. Some of you work with children. Some of you are cooks. You like to cook. You like to create something. Or maybe you are going to create something for kids. Hmm. Let's see. Something to do with parsley. I don't know. You're going to make it look pretty with parsley. Maybe you're teaching your kids how to cook. Let's see. What else is going on here? Oh, wow. We got aura with truth here. So there's some kind of truth coming out. Let's get one more. 
there's a change, yeah. So there's definitely a change here with this new Manomo card. The truth shall set you free. Maybe you're going to receive a message or get some kind of answers about something that you needed answers to that's going to help change your life. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. Upside down. Let's see anything else from this book. What else do we need to know? Anything else? All right, we're going to move on to the next portion. And let's see what's going on. What do we need to know? Now we're moving into the tarot portion. Let's see what's going on here. What do we need to know? All right, let's see. Ooh, high priestess energy. Pisces, I said Pisces, didn't I? Pisces, Libra energy right here, okay? This is the keeper of secrets. This is someone who's super spiritual, super knowledgeable, okay? This person has a lot of in, inner wisdom, a lot of insight, um, this is a person who does things under the moon, okay? Um, yeah, this person does moon magic. This person has the scroll. This is the gatekeeper here, okay? So this could be someone in your life who has authority here. Someone, this could be like a tarot reader, okay? A mystic healer, some, like a herbalist. Um, someone who has an apothecary store, okay? Like, this would be like Erica Badu, Okay? Let's see. Or me, to put it in a more perspective you can relate to, okay? So let's see. What's going on with this high priestess energy here? This could be y'all. I'm telling you, leveling up with your gifts here. You're leveling up into your high priestess energy here with this plus. Plus is adding on. You're going up. Plus signs go up, okay? So let's see here. Something's abundant. Something's fruitful, like I said here, with this pomegranate energy here. That's signifying fertility here. So some of you could definitely be pregnant or expecting, okay, or wanting or trying, like I said. So let's see here. The initials B and J could be significant to you. Let's see. What's going on? Tell us more. Okay, it didn't flip over, so I'm not going to take it. All right, so you have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is a hopeless romantic. This dude, let me not call him hopeless because he does have a lot of hope. He's definitely not hopeless, okay? But he coming with this offer here. This is somebody's knight in shining armor coming. Like, they, look, they might be a little shy. Let me see what's going on with this. Somebody's seeing something from a different perspective. Somebody's getting a raise or promotion or something here. Like I said, this is some kind of offer here. Let's see. Tell us more. What is this about? Yeah, look, it's about you leaving. It's about you moving, going somewhere else. I knew it. Something was a little rocky. Something was too much. It was unstable. You got to go somewhere else. Anything else? Something could have, like I said, something could have happened in June. There's two sixes here. Three sixes, excuse me, six, six, six. So I could be talking to an African person here, a melanated person here, okay? We have the number four. Four of swords. So somebody put two swords down. Somebody came out of some kind of isolation or something like that. Or somebody went to a period of rest. Somebody's going to a, somebody's going somewhere where they can get more peace. I just heard somebody's going where the peace resides. What else is going on here? Tell us more. Oof. Yeah, somebody's... Look.
Y'all, that dog beat. <laughs> uh, Ace of Pentacles. And Seven of Swords. Why is this here? Somebody could be watching you. I hear somebody's pocket watching. Somebody's watching you to see where you, how you go able to move and do all of this stuff. Yeah. Somebody pocket watching you. That's what that energy is. What else can we know? Somebody's definitely watching your pockets, okay? Trying to see how you move in the way that you move if you're going through whatever you're going through. Okay, but don't don't be distracted. It could be somebody that you work with, okay? And this could be what you leveling up from, okay? It could be somebody watching you saying, well, how she got that promotion, how he got that promotion, you know, or whatever. It sound like somebody got some haters. Anything else? Yes. Somebody here, we got some kind of news communication here from a young person possibly. What's this page of pentacles? What's the page of pentacles? Somebody's having to just stand their ground about where they're going. Yeah. Somebody's having to stand their ground. It was the seven of swords. I mean, seven of wands with the tower. Look, there you go again. Someone, I'm telling you, someone's going to give you an offer to work with you possibly too as well. Look, tower came right back out. Something all of a sudden, surprisingly, what is this tower? What's the tower for my viewers? The tower is forcing you to do something, okay, that you may have not wanted to do. The tower is an abrupt change, sudden uh, destruction of something sometimes, okay, it it it's unexpected. It's from God to get us to do something that we may not need to do. It it tears down things that need to be de destroyed so that something else can be rebuilt again. So something was pulled from under someone's feet. Okay, somebody ripped the tablecloth off the table here. Okay, Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall, but Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Okay. Also, this is Scorpio energy. Let's see. What's this tower? Someone who abruptly got fired or, or, or uh, let's see. This is something to do with business or family here. Ten of Pentacles is family, marriage, uh, big business, corporations, generational wealth. So a business could be falling. This could even be a stock market crash or something. Um, something's falling. Let's see. Tell us more. So maybe your place of business, your your work. Yeah, you're dealing. Somebody's dealing with a Libra and a Pisces here. Water sign or Libras. Something's being made right though. So whatever. Let's see. Let's get one more. Let's say your job has to close its offices. I feel like you're going to get justice for this. If you have to re relocate, it's going to work out for you. Look, there it is, Knight of Cups. So you're going to get some kind of offer here. Some more. This could be a surprise, too. Somebody could... Um, Two of Pentacles. Somebody's trying to weigh their options, trying to figure out what to do. Tell us more. There it is. Seven of Wands. Somebody's trying to figure out how to defend themselves here in this situation. Maybe in a court case. So this could be like the CEO of a company or something here having to defend themselves about this. Something hit the van. Something got exposed or something about. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Yeah, look, Scorpio energy here. Somebody's heavily dealing with a Scorpio. This could be, this could happen in the next month in November or in Scorpio season. Okay, but something ended here. Somebody, something from the past ended. So it's more. Somebody walked away from something, you guys. Somebody walked away from illusions and, and diversions and... Somebody is disappointed. 
So some of them could have got exposed by somebody. Somebody could have even been married. Because this is the marriage card as well. As you can see, there's a family here. So somebody could have could be getting justice for someone being married here. Juggling them. Okay? Wow. Wow. Anything else we need to know? Look, there it is again. Ace of Pentacles. Somebody's leveling up. Somebody's receiving some kind of new idea, new blessing. Somebody has something new that they're creating, working on. This could even be a check, a gift. Like I said, there was a gift here. You're being gifted something. Okay? You're being gifted something. God's giving you something here. I don't know. It could be a reward for after this betrayal here. After being hurt. Yeah. After you caught... Somebody was caught up in some kind of illusion here. All right. And something could be exposed to you about it. All right. Or this has already happened. But it has something to do with your stability. Okay. And where, whether or not you're going somewhere. Okay. It has something to do with your movement, about you moving forward, about wherever you're going, okay? So let's move on into the next portion of this reading. And we'll go into the Romeo and Juliet portion. We'll check in on your love life and see what's going on here. Let's see. Romeo and Juliet for a collective. Romeo and Juliet messages for my positive energy, dope runners. We have a revenge, punishment, compensation, and counter attack. Mm. You guys, when I see this card, I always say don't do it. Because vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I know when somebody does us something, we want to get back at them. And I saw that. I told you somebody could have done you something. Somebody could have hurt you. We did see the Ten of Swords, okay? I told you God is, is rewarding you. You did the work, okay? Stay obedient. So you're being compensated for something here, okay? You're getting the gift for something. If somebody stole something from you, you're going to be rewarded double. Somebody's going to get their justice, okay? They're going to receive punishment for whatever it is that they did to you, but don't you worry about it, okay? Let's see. Anything else for my viewers? What's the message here? We got pacify here. Reassure, persuade, clarify, identify. So someone could be um, trying to baby you up for what they did, you know, trying to <laughs> pacify you. But you need to calm down and listen to your inner voice here. Okay, calm down. Whatever it is that they did to you, calm down. All right, go into a place. That, and that's what that four swords could have been too. You needing to go into a period of rest and relaxation. Okay. And listen to your inner voice. Look at things from a different perspective if this has not already happened. Because we have level up here. We have Eager, Count Paris, and Mercutio. So you could be dealing with two different men here. Two different women here. Somebody's eager to take action towards you, okay? One of them is attractive, noble, sincere, and a little bit narky. narky. Okay, a little bit controlling, like to have their way. The other one is funny, loyal, devoted. They're wild and, and frenetic, okay? Sort of like a free spirit here. Hmm. Tell us more. So ask for help in this situation as well. Or this is what you could be doing. Somebody could already know what you're going through. Yesterday I did a reading with somebody um was, was uh have, having some kind of addiction issues and they were going finally go and ask for help. So go watch go watch that reading. Uh I can't think of the title of that reading right now, but 
Um, there could be a message in there for you. Some of these cards came out, okay? Someone was dealing with some kind of addiction. They were going to some kind of rehab or something like that, okay? Anything else? Yeah, somebody's making a step forward. Accelerate, bring forward, making progress. You guys are making progress. You guys are going somewhere. After listening to yourself, after calming down, it says, oh, calm, dishonorable, vile submission here. Yeah, go watch that reading, y'all. We got the apothecary here. So somebody here is definitely an herbalist or something. You guys are leveling up. Maybe you started out doing something small with your business here. I told y'all, some of you guys have some kind of business. Something that's growing here or something like that, Okay. But somebody you're dealing with is witty and dark, and they definitely could have done something to you. They could have poisoned you. I did do a reading a couple months ago with somebody's loved one was poisoning them, okay? But there's somebody here, though, that you can trust. Somebody that's wise, trustworthy, caring, optimistic. Maybe that's that person that you're going to go talk to and get some kind of clarity from, okay? This could even be the person that you fall in love with. It says enchanting love. Hmm. Patience, decent, self-control, yeah. I feel like this is this is causing you to have self-patience, have self-control, all right? Be patient. Be patient if you're waiting for love. So somebody's coming in to nurture you. Somebody's coming in with really good, loving, kind energy, okay? Let's see who this is. Let's see if we can get some physical traits. Let's see if we can get some confirmation of you and your person or anyone that you're dealing with that you may be thinking about here. This is from our positive energy viewers. What's the who? Who is this that we're dealing with here? Who is this? Okay, that was a mess. Who is this? All right, so this you or this person or anyone in this reading could be Native American, okay? I didn't know those were out. We have straight hair, so someone could have straight hair. And what else do we have? Hazel eyes, someone could have hazel eyes. And we have no tattoos, so someone could be Native American with straight hair and no tattoos. Let's see. Someone has a gray beard. It could be that person, that older, wise person that you guys are dealing with. And then, you know, we did have apothecary come out and herbalists. Native Americans are definitely um, herbalists, okay? So this could be some of your divine lineage. You could have a Native American divine lineage and you could be tapping into that. Some of you could be healers here, okay? You could be guided to take a divinely guided chance towards doing this business here that's going to be a generational wealth building uh, idea for your family okay this is definitely leveling somebody up here that's for somebody here okay so take note to this 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 is confirmation for somebody somebody was wondering this is going to be confirmation for you and who else who is this this is going to take you and your life to a whole new level here somebody has braids okay and we have curly hair. Who else is this? Who is this? We have bob hairstyle. So you could have straight a straight bob. Let's see. What was this? Pixie cut. Somebody has a short pixie cut. Anything else for my viewers? All right, so we have thick. Someone could be thick, whether that's thick hair, thick skin, thick body. We have a lace front, okay? Someone has a lace front. We have island, or someone's from the island. And then we have has a fupa. So someone has a fupa, and at the bottom we have mustache here. Let me get a couple more. We have 90 to 100. Definitely dealing with some ancestors, grandparents here. Definitely some passed over loved ones. 
helping in this in this situation here with whatever's going on in your life. Let's see. Yeah, look, I told you, short hair. Somebody has short hair here. Pixie cut or something, a bob. Okay. African. You guys are African. You guys are being passed down some kind of divine lineage wisdom here. Some kind of insight. Some kind of inner wisdom that you guys are finding out about yourself. This is dope. This was a pretty cool reading. I hope this brought y'all some kind of uh, clarity, confirmation, insight, entertainment, something. If it did resonate, hit that like button, okay? It helps get the message out to other people and stuff. But I appreciate y'all, and I'll be back again with another message for y'all a little bit later. Um, remember to love yourselves. Be kind to others, okay? And um, know that I love you, but God loves you more, okay? And if y'all don't do anything else, dream big. Wake up. Do it. I will see you next time.